1969, uh, the introduction of the Caliber 11, the first commercially available automatic chronograph, let's say. We know that Seiko and Zenit also uh, produced watches in 1969 with automatic chronograph movement. And the movement inside is fascinating. To develop a movement like this, you know, it was just massive, massive technical investment. And the one you have in your hand is uh, particularly rare, the, the so-called Chronomatic. Jack and Willie had decided on this trade name to support the launch uh, of the automatic chronograph, uh, the Calibre 11. And when they put it out to the market and Jack was kind of doing sampling, he said, chronomatic, chronomatic, chronomatic. No one knew what the hell he was talking about. So he said, we'll just put automatic chronograph on the dial. Mm -hmm. And Willie had come to Jack and said, look, you have so many great names, Otavia Carrero, you have the Monaco that's gonna launch with this. We don't have anything. Can we have the chronomatic name? And Jack was like, yeah, sure. No one knows what it means anyway. So like knock Dig yourself it. out. But it really changed the, the design and configuration of the dial because we have chronomatic above the Hoya logo and then Carrera at the bottom. 